Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming. I'm going to bring you some new world today, looking at my top three fiber routes. So let's get started. So the first one's out in Windsward. It's west of the town, north of the Spirit Shrine out here. So close teleport access to get out here. And this route is extremely popular, but there's so many nodes that it's still lucrative to come out here. So this route includes 44 nodes in this area. Each of those nodes has between four and six plants. It's just a ton of fiber available. And then we have a secondary route up north that's south of the Windsward Fort. This still has 19 nodes in here, so it's still a good lucrative route, but we'll look at that in a minute. So the main route takes about 15 minutes to run around. Not bad. We're expecting about a thousand fiber for each circle that you do as of patch 1.0. 0.4 and I have seen as much as 3,000 in one circle so this depends on the popularity how many people are out here at that time all of that and the mob levels we're looking at some bison that are level 16 and some withered in the area near the little huts so there are there is the potential for some corrupted portals out here so avoid those if you're not high enough level and let's go ahead and take a look at the map so this is the main route right here and as you can see there's just so many nodes and this doesn't even show all of them because there's clusters on top of clusters out here so we do dip into monarch's bluff here we have to run across the river and for the most part we try to go across bridges here just to save a little extra time and there's so many harvestable moats and everything else out here it's so lucrative for your gathering so the secondary route i'm talking about is this northern area you're just running back and forth south of this fort and again tons of harvestable moats and then a little selfie eye here for you too so like i said this is the cream of the crop it doesn't get any better than this but we're going to go ahead and look at everfall next just to give you an alternative in case there's too many people out here all right so looking at everfall here it is south southwest of the town it's close to the town so easy to do your refining a little bit less competition out here but there is still some uh, so i give it a medium popularity there are 10 clusters in this route and each cluster has between four and six plants it takes about five to eight minutes or so to make the circle and i usually get between five to eight hundred fiber depending on how many flowers are up for each circle you do mobs in the area level 15 to 16 some wolves and some withered in the town not too hard to avoid but let's go ahead and take a look at the map and so there are the 10 nodes here we make a loop down here looking east and west as we're running across this forest and i usually go up this road right here to go around the tower for this node and then back up and start our route all over again so there are two little life moth nodes that are fairly close by so I rate this route kind of towards the bottom of the list just because there's some downtime, but all in all, still not a bad route. Let's take a look at first light next. All right, so looking at first light here, and this route is north, northeast of the town, and it's still fairly close to the town, so easy to do your refining, and there's very little competition out in this area in my experience. There are 13 fiber clusters in this area and again between four to six flowers in each cluster and then it takes about seven to ten minutes to make the loop on this one and I'm averaging between 700 and a thousand for each of the circles that I do. So mobs in the area between level six and eight really easy for pretty much anybody to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. And I'd start down here at the bottom, make the loop around, a little bit of extra running for some of these, but all in all, fairly easy to do. There is one more little fiber node in the middle there, uh, some blight root up in the north side of town, some river crest on the beach areas, and a little blight moth up here in the rocky outcrop. Uh, so all in all, I, I rate this pretty good. Uh, so second on my list here, and highly recommend for less competition area. This has been Ice Locked with Nocturne Gaming. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below for me. And we'll see you next time.